Girthquake. Any news about the most recent DJI ban bill? Thank you for $5, Girthquake. Um, no, no, nothing specific. I would just have to check. I would just have to check on uh, ProPublica or wherever uh, to see what the status of the bill was. Um, I still, I think last time we checked Blunty, it had about a 30% chance of passing, which is distressingly high. But, uh, yeah, as far as I know, we're still waiting on uh, movement. So. That's, it's, it's, uh, it's really, it's, it's dumb. It's dumb. Uh, it would really suck if that happened. It would really just gut a lot of professionals. And, uh, you know, the American government is supposed to be pro business. It's weird. It's weird the priorities of the American government because, like, on the one hand, they're like, we want to protect capital. We want to make sure that every American has the chance to think that they could become a millionaire, while mostly the people who are already millionaires get to stay millionaires and become billionaires. You know, I'm like, okay, cool. You know, you do you, America. Um, but then we've got this situation where there's all these people using DJI drones and saying these DJI drones are essential to my business. And some politicians are just like, yeah, no, mm -mm, sorry. Small government means you can't have that drone because China! Like, okay. Oh, but what we're actually doing is we're promoting American industry. Yeah, good luck with that. <laughs> good luck with that. It's like, did you hear that Vladimir... I don't know if this is true. I just saw this story. I saw this headline. Vladimir Putin said he wants Russia to make their own version of the PS5. And it's like, cool. Like, somewhere, there's going to be a Russian company who makes a, a, a Russian gaming console. It's going to suck. Like, you know it's going to suck, right? There's reasons why the companies that make great gaming consoles are the companies that they are. And part of the reason is that those companies have been making gaming consoles for the last 40 years. Oh, my God. 85, 95, 95, 2005, 2015, 2025. That's 40 years since gaming consoles. The, the NES, the original NES came out, and I believe it was 1985. Uh, so 40 years, companies like Nintendo and Sony and Sega and, uh, and, uh, so forth have been ma making gaming consoles and they've gotten very good at it. Okay. And my, oh, Microsoft. Yeah. Not quite 40 years for Microsoft. And, um, so then if, if, if Vladimir Putin is like, oh, hey, hey, Russia, make me a PS5. It's going to suck. Just like the very first. Original, you know, the very first gaming consoles had a lot of mistakes and things they could have done better. But we didn't know any better because we all we had was Atari. And that sucked. So uh, all American drone manufacturers are basically they're they're just not as good as DJI because they. Well, I don't know why. But the one if you look at history, DJI has 20 30 years or something. How, I don't know how long. It's a long freaking time of making drones and getting good at making drones. And they just do it better. And the American government saying, DJI is banned. We're going to support American industry. How are you going to support American industry? By banning a competitor? That doesn't do it. That's not enough. All that happens when you ban a successful competitor is you cut the top off the market. And now no one has access to the best product, so everyone has to buy a subpar product. It doesn't make the subpar product better. In fact, it removes the incentive for the subpar product to get better. So unless this countering China Drones Act is going to be accompanied with, and we're going to take $10 billion and we're going to feed it into American industry and try and make American drones better in a real and accountable way, which it doesn't, then this is all this is doing is just removing competition and, and basically driving money to American companies and forcing American consumers to buy subpar products. And it's bullshit. And it's supposed it's not supposed to be what, oh, the great American free market is about. 
The whole basis of the myth of American capitalism is that the most successful product wins and inferior products are driven to become successful by the desire to succeed. And that doesn't work if the government says, oh, yeah, but the most successful product banned, can't import it, eh, F you, doesn't work. Yeah, I would say, you know, you mentioned, you know, DJI can do all this stuff. And you said, like, I don't really know why U.S. people can't, but they can't. But my my point of view there would be that, like, it's because those companies aren't deciding to make drones because they want to make drones. Right. Nobody in the chain cares about drones. The only people in the chain thing they care about is I'm, I want to make American things and I want to satisfy this bill for the investor money that we're going to get. And I'm going to sell these to the military. Right. That's the difference. I mean, like, because, uh, because uh, DJI cared about making drones, they may care about money too, but like there are drone companies, okay, they build drones, they've built, they've hired I mean, engineers, I, I, they've, I, they've I, developed talent. They're in I schools, see. they're pulling everything, you know, like, I see and these why are just you say like that. a bunch of money. It's like the embracer group in video games. Like let's spend $2 billion from Saudi investors and buy up every video game company and we'll just have the best because we're going to make all the best games. And guess what's happened? They've sold off a $1.6 billion worth of those assets because it all failed and they made shitty games and had no idea what they were actually doing. You know yeah. what I mean? And like, yeah. I think it's the same idea there. That, that's what I would say. I, I, I think that I think there's some truth to what you're saying, which is that is that this whole blue UAS product project where only, you know, U.S. U.S. Uh, uh, DOD government can only buy American made drones. It has brought people out of the woodwork who are going after those contracts and their goal. They know that their customer cannot shop from anyone who isn't on the blue UAS list. So their first goal is to get on the blue UAS list. And now that they're on that list, their next goal is to make the least shitty drone that gets them to the win the contract. But their goal is not to make the best possible drone. Their goal is to make the, the least expensive drone and least shitty drone necessary to keep as much money for themselves and to satisfy the customer. Um, like if you say, is, is it okay for the United States government to mandate that they... Ooh, my whiskey just went ding. Is it okay for the United States government to mandate that it only buys drones from, from U.S. companies? On principle, I don't see a problem with that, but that is not how you produce the best possible drones. Uh, and doing that to the entire U.S. market would absolutely decrease the quality. Um, I do want to say though, Blunty, like I'm sure that if you go to Skydio or you go to Teal, you'll find engineers who are sincerely passionate about it making great has, drones. I don't want to. I don't want to overstate. Nothing to do that. with the engineers. Yeah, that, that, none that has of this to do with the, any, the, the people writing the to checks. Do what, what the payroll says to do. The, the engineers don't get to decide. The engineers write a bunch of good ideas down and then are shot mm -hmm. down in the meetings when they're not allowed to do the things they want to do and they have to do the other things or the timeline gets cut in half or the budget gets cut in a quarter or right. whatever, right? Like that that's where I would go. They're like, we need three years to actually develop a real system that can do this because we told them we would deliver X, Y, Z. Right. Like, we don't give a shit. You're delivering X tomorrow and you're going to care about it, right? Like, yeah. That's, yeah. that's the, you're killing good engineers like that. That's what I'm Absolutely. saying. Absolutely. 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 Um, I, I think what DJI, and this has just turned into a DJI love fest. So, you know, for everybody who thinks I'm a DJI shill, there you go, <laughs> clip this. But what D, I think that if you're going to compete, you have to be honest and sober <laughs> about what your comp competition does right. You can't just sit there and shit on your competition and then, and then be wrong because, every, because they're doing something right. You have to understand that. And what DJI has done right is if you look at their product line all the way back to the original Phantom 1, it has been a slow and steady progression. And they have built upon what they've done in the past. And they have built, uh, in, uh, mm, not industrial knowledge, they have built, um, fuck. I'm just blanking on words. Institutional. Right now. Institutional. Thank you. They have built institutional knowledge, you know, so that when they release a new drone, they're not starting from scratch. They're 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 building on decades of investment, and uh, we don't see decades of investment in an ecosystem of slowly improving drone technology in any American manufacturer, not to the degree that DJI has, and that's why they're so hard to beat. 